Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you um, a 2014 Kubota RTV X1100C. Uh, the C model is the latest out, cab heat air, this has AM FM CD player, uh, front warm wench. Uh, this unit is my own personal. Uh, I have owned it since uh, late 2014. I bought it from a gentleman. I ran into some financial problems. Long story short, I've had it since it's had 20 hours on it, okay? I happen to have one come through here the other day that has eight hours, a 2016, so I've just updated. Uh, basically, um, I took off a couple little things that I had as an extra on this, put over on the new one. We did a full service last Thursday on this and haven't moved it since. Uh, I garage kept this machine since I owned it. It was for my wife, and at that time, my one son. Now we have a second. Why I like the RTV, uh, basically if you have kids or, or you know grandkids, you put them in there, you shut the doors, they're safe, they're secure, you've got heat, air conditioning, they can be entertained with the radio. Um, the other big thing is on these RTVs versus a Polaris or a Razor or anything like that, when you let off the throttle, this thing will come to a stop, okay? It's safe. So you get an emergency situation, it doesn't freewheel. Or if you're coming down a mountain, it won't freewheel on you. That's a major big thing. But again, this thing is mine. It's 110%, not a piece of junk, and I've kept it nice. You won't find mud up in the frame. Uh, we used it around our place, which a lot of you know customers know our place here. We're on a lot of limestone uh, or shale, and, and this wasn't something we were out mudding and four-wheeling with. So I want everybody to understand that. And again, I've owned it since there's 20 hours on it. There's 195 hours on it currently with 871 miles. So let me go ahead and fire it up. We're going to start you right here underneath the engine compartment. So, this unit here you're going to see powered by a Kubota D1105 three-cylinder diesel engine. Again, we have just done a full factory service as far as service wise engine oil both fuel filters i even do the power steering filter we've done both transmission filters everything is service uh change the transmission oil with the udt uh that it requires um very clean you look underneath my bed now the power coating is coming off anything like that there's no leaks welds brakes cracks anything like that whatsoever and this does have the fully independent suspension on it okay um Again, very nice and clean. No smoke, no blow-by. Uh, this is a good, clean RTV. And again, this is my own personal. I can't stress that enough. I'm going to go ahead and put the bed down. As far as in the bed, anything this has ever hauled, my little boy Braden would stick his toys in here whenever he came down. And I took the trash every Sunday. We take trash up here to my dumpster. Get a rental property I own. Um, that's what's been holding this bed. There is two holes that were drilled in it from the previous owner that he had a gun rack mounted in. I never did anything with that. Um, just point it out. My bed is not damaged, dented, beat up, washboarded, smashed up, anything like that. I am kind of very particular with my own personal stuff. Tailgate, nice straight. Everything here is straight. The stickers are nice. My camo is not messed up, dented up, beat up, plastic wise. It's nice. Uh, back here, uh, receiver hitch. You can see I've never had a receiver hitch slid in it. Uh, back of transmission, everything here is as crisp as it's supposed to be. Again, we have changed both rear transmission filters. Everything is updated and done and taken care of service-wise. Paint, there's no rust, rot, nothing's covered up. This was not a unit that was a salt buggy, okay? Again, we don't do stuff like that, so that's why my machine's in nice shape. Uh, before we go inside the cab, let's finish up outside. Underneath the hood here. Very clean, as it should be. You have a front clean-out screen, overflow, washer jug for the front windows, brake reservoir, radiator, horn, and I'm sure I'll have a whole bunch of haters. Well, did you really service your own unit? Well, right there she is, fellas. Brand new factory Kubota filters. Don't pull any punches. A lot of people might think I'm a smart ass. It's just how it is. When I tell you I had done something, I did it. Um, up front, my new unit did come with a Kubota wench. I thought about pulling the worn wench off and putting it on. I left it. Uh, this is a worn wench. I can honestly tell you I have used it one time just to make sure that it worked in and out. Um, does have freewheel. 
I do have, and I'll show you where it plugs in at, right here, that is the remote plug-in for the remote, which is under the seat. I have never used it. It does have a switch inside, I will show you, uh, that activates it from inside. My fenders are not busted up. The bottom of my doors are not busted up. There's no dents in the doors. Um, there's two little wee scratches right here. You can see, I'm just being honest, they're nothing, uh, they're nothing at all, I'm just being honest. Biggest thing on the 1100 XC, or the CX, or the XC series, I should say, this is by far the nicest thing they've ever done, and the day that Kubota makes a power window, I'll own one of those. Uh, but they are very nice, simple crank window, and I mean it is awesome. It's just like a freaking truck. None of my doors have any damage or rust or anything like that. Matt can stay here at the camera. I'm going to head to the other side. This is a pressurized cab, so sometimes you do need to crack the window whenever you go to open or, cl or to close the door, I should say. Underneath here, you have storage compartment. As I spoke earlier, here's the Warren Winch controller. And the seat actually goes like this. There you can see uh, more storage. Underneath here, pick this out real quick. This is nice because you can take it out and you can rinse it. Underneath here is actual access to the engine. You can see underneath there, as clean as clean can be. I'll go ahead and we're going to snap this back in. And that's as simple as it gets. So that's as easy as it is right there, fellas. My seats, I had factory uh, cam, actually they come from orangeaftermarket.com. I bought camo seat covers and put on this headrest and on the seats, because uh, well, obviously kids, uh, they get their freaking feet everywhere. Um, I wanted my seats covered, I bought them, I moved those over to the new unit, so my seats are like new. Uh, I try to protect myself there again. You do have an adjustable seat, you gotta be in it, but it does have an adjustable seat. You have four uh, four wheel drive, two wheel drive selection here, locking diff. While we're over here on this side, you have air conditioning, heat, um, it has a recirculator in it, just like a big automobile. 195 hours, fuel, heat, 871 miles, 12 volt cigarette lighter, high low range, um, parking brake, you have a horn. Uh, this does have, and I didn't strip that stuff off, I left it the way it should be. Up here you're going to have a front auxiliary roof and rear work lights. I wanted that on this unit when I bought it. Uh, they were on it. My new one, I had to put them on because it didn't have it. Tilt wheel. Um, headlights for just the front. Cup holders. Um, very nice. Oh, power dump is over here on this side. And then you have your uh, automatic throttle over here you can use in the winter time to uh, warm the engine up whenever it's cold out so you don't have to uh, stay in it while it's cold. You can actually step the motor up. So um, This time, I'm going to hop in and have Matt crank that window back up. Uh, also, it does have, uh, this was a Panasonic, come from Kubota, uh, wired from Kubota. AM FM CD player, uh, it's in it. Um, again, this is a very nice clean unit. Not because it's mine, but I take care of my stuff. So, uh, grill guard is nice and straight as it should be. Uh, that kind of thing. This isn't this isn't an average one that's on the market. This is a very nice car. So, I'm gonna go ahead and match shut that door. I'm gonna run it around for you here and show you that it does work.
everybody can see for this video this year starts runs works to 110 percent this is mine nick miller owns this uh this thing is not a piece of junk again i kept it in the garage since 2014 i've owned it since 20 hours so i know what the machine is it's had all its service we just did a full complete service i do that before i sell anything of mine and i don't have any regrets i don't have any problems that's the kind of businessman i am but some people aren't so that's a whole other day uh, the only thing I can tell you, uh, it's down on diesel fuel. I am going to fill it up. Um, whenever this unit gets to one bar on the fuel gauge, you've got about 10 minutes. My wife run it out one time. And after that, when it got to two bars, she'd bring it down. The guys or myself would fill it up for it. Um, but I'm telling you that to be honest with you. That's what I know. Um, unit is cab, heat, air, AM, FM, CD player, power steering, four-wheel drive, power dump. I even left my back grill guard on. Uh, that guards your back window, it's a headache rack. Uh, this thing is a loaded up unit with a warm winch. It is nice and as clean as you'll find. Um, it's straight, it's not boogered up. Nice unit, and I guarantee it to be 110%. I have two sets of keys, including ignition and door. I have all the books and manuals, including for the warm winch. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tracker House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. Look, don't bring stupid, ridiculous offers. I've priced this thing fair in the market. I'm not giving the thing away because I know what it is. Uh, so if you, you know, I'm asking 16.9. If you guys think you can buy it for 14 grand, don't even bother calling. So don't, don't waste my time nor yourself. Uh, any questions? 814-658-3066. Again, I'm Nick Miller. Uh, thank you very much, and as always, have a good day.